I'm Corporal James Richard Garrett. I'm serving with the 4th Battalion Canadian Engineers. I'm 19 years old now and I signed up in 1915. I am number two rifleman. My job is to ensure that the machine gun is not being taken out and that I will be protecting it at all costs. I'm Master Corporal Bork. Um, I learned about this soldier by studying him. I was given a sheet and about all the information from my captain. From him, I looked into it a little bit more and just started to memorize it to the point where it was almost stuck inside my memory. It was pretty cool to get to know what it was like back then. It was awesome learning about the kind of things that he did and the things that he had accomplished throughout his career. And I have to say it was pretty, pretty humbling to be able to not only reenact but take part in this and show people what it's like and what it was like for them back then. My name is Cadet Sergeant Dawson Curry. Uh, the people behind me are currently watching our cadets as they reenact uh, the different positions they've been assigned. Uh, we've got everyone from sentry duties uh, with rifles to just generalized people doing going about everyday life uh, in the trench, uh, which will be playing cards, uh, making tea, I guess. Uh, that one they like a lot because, I mean, who doesn't like food? Um, <laughs> Yeah, these cadets, uh, they're acting as you would in World War I, in a World War I trench, um, only minus the uh, combat. The uh, Army cadets of the uh, 2563 Corps have uh, undertook this uh, commemorative uh, activity uh, where they've been, uh, where they hand dug a uh, full-size replica uh, World War I trench and uh, they've also adopted the persona of a member of the uh, Lampton 149th Regiment that fought uh, during World War I and they currently operate, they currently are occupying the trench acting in the uh, persona of the uh, character they adopted and uh, um, meeting with members of the general public and explaining uh, a little bit about their background and uh, their role in uh, World War I. It's a way of uh, actually uh, keeping the memory of uh, those that uh, uh, served and, uh, and sacrificed, uh, of course, uh, by going to serve in Europe uh, during World War I, it's a way of keeping their memory alive. Uh, one thing I hope people take away from this project is that life in the trenches was not an easy thing. Um, and then one thing I hope the cadets take away from this is a lot of hard work does pay off in the end. Um, I also hope that people take away from this uh, how important it is to remember uh, the lives of the men and women who served our country uh, to make it what it is today. Without, uh, without World War I and the end of World War I, uh, who knows what Canada would have been.